All right, guys, it is like almost one o'clock. I thought we were ending the vlog, but Kayla just um, called me and said, Mom, you got to get over here. Caleb's calling the ambulance. I'm like, what is going on? And she said that um, she was sitting in bed and while she's sitting there, she um, felt like a gush. And then she felt like two more. And when she looked, she is bleeding out, like hemorrhaging in the bed. So I don't know what's going on. It's not her incision. I'm trying to put on my pants. It's not her incision. Um, all right, go. It, Barry's already on the way over there. I know, I sound really frazzled. All right, Bri, you ready? Come on. So we're all taking off going over there because we gotta watch the kids. And the ambulance is on the way to grab her. And go grab mom's purse on, on the door in there. Can you get my Crocs out of there? So we're gonna go over there and um, check on them, see what's going on, watch the babies. Barry's already left because I told him just to go ahead and go. He can get there quicker because I know once the ambulance gets there, they're probably gonna rush her off. Um, so anyway, I don't know guys, we'll come back with an update and just stay tuned. All right, so update. Um, only thing I have right now is Barry's at their house. He can't get in, but EMS is already there. The ambulance is already there. And I guess when they came in and shut the door, it locked behind them, you know? So Barry's like, I can't get in. I said, well, just knock on the door. I'm sure the, I'm sure Aspen's already up anyway because of all the commotion. And um, I said, or try calling Caleb because I know he was on the phone with 911, but um, if they're there, he would have hung up by now. So hopefully somebody can get Barry in, but we'll be there in just a second. And um, probably not gonna film any of the commotion, but I'll let you guys know what happens once we get there. So upstairs, trying to get everything situated. Um, Kayla is at the hospital getting checked out right now. Kayla followed behind. She did ride in the ambulance. Um, we're taking the twins back to our house so we have somewhere to sleep and they can lay in the playpen for tonight. Caleb's parents came and got Aspen and they took her home. And I think we'll get Aspen in the morning if Kayla and them are not home yet. So that's kind of the plan right now. Um, I don't know if I can show her bed on here because I don't know if that would be pushing the limits for, I don't know, can you do that? I don't know. But there's blood all in this bed. And it's all over the outside, like it's a mess. So I'm gonna have to help her figure that out later. But for now, I'm trying to pack up the babies and we're gonna head to the house, get some diapers and some clothes. I need to get Aspen clothes. I need to get their passies. Like I'm trying to think like as a mom, what would I get to bring them? Because honestly, I don't even know what to bring. It's so sad. Okay, I'm gonna grab some stuff and then we're gonna head back to the house and maybe everybody can get a little bit of sleep and we'll figure out what's wrong with Kayla shortly. Okay, we're back home. Babies are over there. I don't know if you guys could see. You could see the playpen. You can't really see them. We got them fed, diaper changed, and now we're laying down. Um, Bri's going to give you a little update. She's been reading all the text messages. I honestly hadn't been on there because I've been, like, busy and doing stuff. And Bri's been, like, keeping us up to date on what's going on. Have me, Bri? Mm -hmm. Just kind of letting us know, okay, this is what it says, this is what it says. So, you fill them in. Um, Kayla has been back in a room for a little bit now. Um... They took her in for an ultrasound a little bit ago. Um, she's bleeding from her C-section. We're not sure if it's um, internal internal or, or if external. it's like external. We have no clue on that yet. We just know she's bleeding from her C-section. Um, they did... There's another <laughs> update. They did um, the ultrasound or whatever. She did a urine sample and it was like bright red. It was. So she's still bleeding pretty bad. What's, what's this update? <clears throat> I don't know why this thing went off. Why? Mine didn't go off. Yes, it did. Yours vibrated at the same time. She's nothing was said. Really? Mm-hmm. With that? I don't know. But, um...
That was earlier. And when was that? Yeah, it just came through. She said literally. No, she said that earlier. It just came through my phone, though, at 319, so maybe me and Barry got it late. Oh, I don't know. But, okay, um, on. anyways, so, yeah, she did a urine sample. That's and her urine like, sample. Show them. Can they see? Yep. Very red. Very, very red. And so, just very odd. So, they're keeping an eye out, looking and seeing everything. Um, and they're giving us updates as they get their own updates themselves. So she had an ultrasound outside, and then she had a vaginal inside. Yeah. But we haven't gotten any word exactly what they found. They, she said that they were going to check to make sure nothing was, like, left behind. Like, yeah. no, I don't know what Kayla called it. Like, remnants? I don't know what Kayla called it, but she called it something. She said to make sure there's no nothing extra inside they what didn't get out during C-section. I don't know what we left behind to cause her to be bleeding. No, because she had quit bleeding, you know, and then all of a sudden she just started back. Mm -hmm. I wonder if her inside incision didn't open. I don't know, but we're hoping for the best. We are, for sure. And, um, she seems fine. She was laughing and talking to us earlier when she was in the hospital. Yeah, that's good. She was laughing or whatever, and then the ultrasound lady came in, and they did her ultrasound and everything, and now they're just sitting there waiting for another update but that's all what I was got that for one now. Yeah. that was an update see my phone didn't go off what is going on what'd she say <laughs> see I got nothing <laughs> no it's because she takes me privately I'm on three <laughs> there's only three people in this group yeah it's just me you and dad oh that's it mm -hmm. oh okay <laughs> she messaged me privately can't say it <laughs> okay <laughs> Secrets. It was a DM Kayla got about me. Oh, I want to see. I mean, I can say it. Kayla asked me if I was pregnant because somebody DM'd her and said, Bradley's going to be a great mom. Congratulations, Kayla. They are adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it's me holding the twins. I think they're and saying Kayla, you're going to be yeah, when you have children. Yeah, I know. Kayla's just joking. She, yeah. she said, are you pregnant? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Bra never having kids. Bradley said, I ever. don't want kids. I'm good. I don't want any. I would so, just, no. Don't be expecting babies from Bradley. <laughs> no. I never. I'm sorry. I, like, don't even know, if, even when I'm older. I'd rather just be me. You might change your mind. I probably will, but only one. I'm not having no twins or nothing. Well, if your body happens to have twins, what are you going to do? Cry. Okay. I'm just going to cry every day. I wouldn't do that. All right, so we'll come back with another update once we know more. All right, it is the next day. Um, I didn't even vlog today because I want to give you guys a rundown of what happened last night, let you know how Kayla's doing and everything. Um, so last night, the last thing you saw was we were at her house or were we here? I don't even know you guys, but... I think I vlogged when we got back here. Anyway, we brought the babies back home, got them fed, diaper changed, laid down. Kayla updated us the whole entire time. And um, they did a vaginal ultrasound, and they did an ultrasound on the outside. And they took, um, gave her an IV, did some labs, and did a bunch of different things. Um, they said her hemoglobin was low, and which, of course, with all the bleeding, I'm sure that's why. And then they said that... Um, they didn't see any tear on the inside or tear on the outside. Her C-section, I think, was bleeding on the outside, but it wasn't bad. Um, but they weren't sure what happened. So they gave her an antibiotic because they said her C-section is infected. So they gave her an antibiotic to use um, or to take, and then she has to go back to the doctor in 10 days after that. Um, she came and picked up the baby, her and Caleb, probably around 5 this morning. I never went to sleep because I couldn't sleep with the babies. I just, you know, naughty brain, I guess. I just could not go to sleep. And plus, I not know what's going on with Kayla. Like, my brain was just everywhere. So, um, they left, and I finally laid down and kind of got to sleep around 536. It was probably more like 6. And then I slept almost lunch today. Got up. I had a bunch of errands I needed to run. Didn't do them, but I'm going to do them tomorrow. And, um, yeah, so that was pretty much the day. Kayla's been home resting all day. Um, just kind of taking it easy. She really wants to go back to the doctor 
and um, go ahead and ask why she's like bleeding out so bad because even when they did her IV, she bled out really bad. When they did a finger prick at the doctor's office earlier that day, she bled really bad. So she's unsure what's going on and why she's bleeding like she is and she's just not sure what's going on. She did get an IUD placed in during her C-section, which I've never heard of. Uh, but the hospital she was at said that they do it all the time there and that it's an option if you want to get an IUD inserted after childbirth, like during the surgery, they'll put it, place it in. I don't know how or why you'd want to put one in considering your uterus has not even shrunk to its smallest size. It's still big after giving birth. And I tried to talk Kayla out of it. I told Caleb, I was like, I would not do it. I don't think she needs to. I looked at her and I was like shaking my head like, no, just wait. And um, she signed the paper to get it done. She's a grown woman, her decision. But I told her, I said, don't be surprised if it falls out or something. Because they even told her there's a good chance it's going to fall out. Because her uterus is so large at that time, it can't hold the IUD. Well, I don't know. I'm not saying it's the IUD. But I'm also not saying it's not the IUD causing all these issues. Um, I really wish she hadn't got it inserted or placed. I think she should have waited till her six week checkup until her bleeding has subsided and then got the IUD then. Um, she is going to talk to her doctor and ask, will they go ahead and remove the IUD? She agrees that she thinks maybe it does need to come out and try placing it later. Um, but her doctor's office has been really funny. They're like, no, we're not going to see you until you're done with your full round of antibiotics. No matter how much you're bleeding out, this and that. What? I don't know. Like, if you request to see your doctor, you would think, antibiotic or not, they would they would come let you go in and see them. You know what I'm saying? You just went to the emergency room by ambulance. You'd think they'd want to follow up with you the very next day. But instead, they're like, no, do the whole round of antibiotics and we'll see you in 10 days. I don't know. It's definitely not what I would have thought they said. And I know if it was me, I would have been demanding an appointment or something. Um, kind of crazy. I don't know. I don't know. But she's still um, cramping really bad, which I think that's just her uterus shrinking. And um, she is bleeding still kind of bad. But she's been taking it easy and everything's going good today. Um, I don't know if they're going to take the IUD out early. I don't know if they're going to do that for her or make her wait those 10 days. So Kayla's like, you know, what if something bad happens to me in 10 days? I was like, we're trying not to think the worst. We'll always go back to the emergency room, worst case scenario. But I don't know. I think it's crazy her doctor refused to see her until the antibiotics are done. Just because her C-section is infected. You think, I know she went to the ER, but you would think her doctor would want to see her considering they're the ones that did the surgery. They can look at it. They can say, oh yeah, we verified it was infected. No, it's not infected. I'm not saying the emergency room doctors don't know what they're talking about, but that's just like, you know, if you did some work for somebody and that you had some random person verify it, it's always better if I verify it because I'm the one that did it, you know? So I just feel like her doctor that did the surgery should want to see her to look at it and make sure everything's okay and talk to her about the bleeding and just see her, you know? And I guess I'm frustrated with that. Um, but yeah, they won't. So... I don't know. I don't know what she's going to do. She's like, Mom, I don't know what to do. I feel so helpless. I'm like, well, just take it easy these next 10 days. Get that antibiotic in your system. And hopefully nothing bad goes wrong before you can get into the doctor's office. But I do think it's kind of crazy they won't see her. But anyway, enough of that. Um, that's the situation. Um, today we just slept in. Took it easy. Kayla and Caleb just rested today and kind of got things done around the house and Took care of the babies, and Kayla's just been taking it easy. And we're going to see how things go. But tomorrow, we have to be mega, mega early. Aspen has a doctor's appointment, like a checkup. Um, it's her one-year checkup, and that's um, tomorrow. So I have to be up at like 6 o'clock to get dressed because Kayla's going to be here at 7. We're going to load up. Briley's going to watch the twins with Aiden, and we're going to take off and take Aspen to the doctor. I'm going with her because... Um, of lifting Aspen. She just can't do it. She can't pick her up and put her in a stroller or just carry her in or anything. So, um, that's what's going on tomorrow. And I have like so many errands I need to run. I need to go to the post office, the bank. Um, there was a few other things I had to do. And I mean, I've got my little list right now of things I need to get and do and all that. Um, 
yeah, so tomorrow's going to be a very busy day. I'll update you guys on soccer too. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it in this clip or I might do it in tomorrow's video. If I forget, you guys remind me in the comments because this is a long clip. I'll remind you. No, you guys remind me and I'll, I'll let you guys know what's going on with soccer. So that's been another ordeal too. Whew, just a lot's going on. But anyway, if you enjoyed our vlog, this was a crazy one. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye.